Hey guys, this is Zaman and welcome back to another new tutorial of PowerPoint School. Our today's tutorial is about this kinetic typography animation. This is the third part of this series of tutorials and in our previous tutorial I have showed how to make this one. So if you haven't watched that tutorial yet, make sure you watch it now. So let's start our today's tutorial. Here I have already taken a blank slide. At first we need to pick a text box, drag it over here, add some text, select all the text, change the font to TWCENMT. Change the font size to 60 point, make it bold, change the font color to white. Holding the control button, drag it to down, it will be duplicated, change the text. Make it center, decrease the size of this text box. Pick a rectangle, drag it over this text box. Go to format, from shape field change its color. From shape outline, select no outline. Then right click on it, send it to back. Make sure this text box is in the middle of this rectangle. Select this two, press Ctrl G to group and bring it to here to maintain the alignment. Then holding the Ctrl Shift, drag it to down again. It will be duplicated. Change the text. Increase the size of this text box. Bring it to a bit down. Pick a line shape holding the shift key from your keyboard, drag it over here. Then go to format, from shape outline, change its color to white. Click on the small arrow and from here we need to increase the width to 6.5. Then close it. To make another copy, press Ctrl D to duplicate. From rotate, select rotate left 90 degree. Bring it to here, holding the shift key make it bigger then holding ctrl shift drag it to the right it will be duplicated do the same for this one holding the ctrl shift just take it to upward now we have to select all of these and place them in the middle of our slide now before adding the animation we have to pick a rectangle drag it over here to cover this left side portion from shape fill change its color so that it matches with the background from shape outline select no outline then right click on it, send it to back, holding Ctrl Shift, drag it to right to cover this right side area. We need to right click on it and send it to back. Then holding the Ctrl button, we have to select these three, right click, send them to back. After that, we can go for the animation part. So go to animation, click on animation pane to look over our animation status. To add the first animation on this line shape, go to add animation, select wipe. From effect option, select from right, keep this on click duration 0.25 seconds, select the second one, from add animation, select wipe, from effect option, select from top, set a start after previous duration 0.25 seconds, select the third line, from add animation, select wipe again, from effect option, select from left, set a start after previous duration 0.25 seconds, select the last one, from add animation, select wipe. It will come from bottom, set a start after previous, duration 0.25 seconds. Now we have to select this first text box, from add animation, select fly in. From effect option, select from left, set start after previous, duration 0.75 seconds, delay 0.25 seconds. Now go to effect option, increase the smooth end and press OK. Now select the second one. From add animation, select fly in. From effect option, select from right. Set start with previous, duration 0.75 seconds. Click on this drop down arrow, go to effect option, increase the smooth end, press OK. Now for the last text box, I will use the animation painter tool to copy and paste the animation. So here I'm just pasting the animation. From effect option, change the direction from left. And now we have to add the exit animation. So at first select this line from add animation under exit option select wipe. From effect option select from right. Set a start after previous duration 0.25 seconds delay 0.50 seconds. Select the second line from add animation again under exit option select wipe. From effect option select from top. Set a start after previous, duration 0.25 seconds. Select the third one from add animation. Select wipe. From effect option, 
select from left set start after previous duration 0.25 seconds for the last one do the same select wipe which is under exit option from effect option make sure it is selected from bottom set start after previous duration 0.25 seconds after that select this first text box and to add another animation from add animation we have to select fly out from effect option select to write set start with previous duration 0.75 seconds click on this drop down arrow from effect option increase the smooth start press ok select the second one from add animation select fly out from effect option select to left set start with previous duration 0.75 seconds click on this drop down arrow from effect option increase the smooth start press ok select that last one from add animation select fly out again from effect option select to right set a start with previous duration 0.75 seconds from this effect option increase the smooth start and press ok and here our animation is ready now if you start the slideshow you can see that our whole animation is working perfectly so we are done with the third part of this kinetic typography series and in our next tutorial I will show you how to make this one. So keep your eyes on our channel and show us your support that really inspires us. If you are new to this channel make sure you subscribe, share with your friends and don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you get a notification when we upload a new video. That's all for today, hope to see in the next tutorial and thanks for watching.